Okay, this is a follow-up on that last video I just did because this was the, the main reason I searched for a, a capacitor analyzer. Originally, I was looking for Syncor units, which are probably more of the 60s. Looked like pretty cool units. Uh, looked like it might be a little bit harder to work on and, and calibrate. So then I started you know, focusing in on these. Didn't know a lot about them, but I'm glad I did because it works fine. But what happened was we had gotten into different meters that would check capacitance and, and to tell you if it was a good or bad capacitor. Some people suggested that you needed an ESR meter, which is equivalent series resistance. So I bought one of those. And... Uh, you really can't do a leakage test on your amp. I was hooking up to the high voltage on my basement amp and running it into the the capacitor, but I was only doing the these, you know, the electrostatic capacitors. And I didn't really want to do that method with an electric electrolytic capacitor. This is the bag of all the parts of my uh, 1960 basement. It was completely original when I got it. So those are all the old Mallory caps. And you can see they're, they're 61 years old. And when they get these blisters on there like that, that is not what you want. That just means that the electro it just means it's been leaking. And they actually have a little hole in there for a vent. This one's bubbled up. Just in case they do get too hot that they don't explode. So there is a little vent hole there and then that rubber covers it up. But we're gonna test this one. I don't think I've ever tested this one in years, so it's not charged up. And it gets a little scary because I had one of these kind of pop on me. Just make a noise and we'll see what this one does. You can actually hear the unit humming because the, it's leaking so much current that it kind of puts a strain on the, the components in the unit. But these are marked, uh, I, you can barely see that. There's a plus right here. And I noticed on the end here, they have a plus sign in the metal. So it's pretty easy to distinguish. I've got the red on the plus over here. So we'll put the red lead on the plus. I, th I will check the capacitance real quick just to see what it says because I haven't checked it. Anyway, we couldn't find a, a modern meter that we could really test. And then once I test these old capacitors because everything I hooked it up to uh, modern said this cap was still good and it might still work. I mean, it was working when I took it out, but you know, all the professionals say, take those things out. They're just shot. And so you don't really want to leave them in there, but let's see, but well, this is a 20 UF by 500 volt. So we'll set this thing from zero to 50. And that's the C4 scale, which is right here. And we're gonna go up to somewhere around 20. And I'll show you how the power factor works this time too. Uh, we're at uh, five, here's 10. And we're getting close to 20. You see it's starting to open up. Um, now it's not opening up very much. And I'm a little, I'm more like at 22, 4, 6, 8. I'm at about 22, which is not too bad for one of these. So capacitance wise, it hadn't drifted. Now you take the power factor and you try to get this thing to open up even more. So you can see over here on this dial that I've got this thing up to 25. 27, a power factor of 27. All the new caps that I've tested 
are usually no more than 15. And I think that's the max that you want. So I, I can already tell that that's not good. Now, once you get this open a little more, you, you turn this and try to dial the capacitance in just a little better. And you kind of go back and forth. Oops. You go back and forth. Looks like I'm up to 28 now. Anyway, you get the picture, so that's what the power factor is for. Now we'll go to the leakage test, and this scares me. I'm putting, I'm going to put these, the Fluke digital meter on here, so you can see the voltage in two places. Now here we go. Now you'll hear this thing humming. Put it on 600. And I'm going to slowly go up, and I'm going to stop and check for leakage right here. So if this needle's way up there, you can see how much a new, an old cap that hasn't been charged up in a long time is gonna leak on you and how it'll heal up with some time here. I may let it sit and I'll, I'll come back and do the video after it's sat for a while. All right, so we get it on 600. Now listen to the unit if you can hear it. And see how much leakage it is if I, oh, shoot, if I, it's at uh, eight, eight milliamps and it's dropping. Now that's why you have to take these up slow. They really recommend that you don't keep this thing over 10 milliamps of leakage for any period of time because it can heat up the components inside the tester. So, see it's building up, we're at 425. Leakage is going down. See how it's starting to heal up a little bit. That's the leakage. It's almost it's about seven, seven milliamps, which is still pretty high. Now I'm at 500 volts. We'll leave it there. It's building up a little bit. And it's healing up. It's at four milliamps right now. Can turn it down a little bit. It's working its way up. Now, see if I go to the this scale, then that's uh. It's dropping, it's below three milliamps now. It's going about two and a half. Like I said, the max is 1.1. So we're still over the max. And we'll see if it uh, goes any lower. i lower the voltage, I'm at 510, 504. That's what's nice about hooking your meter up to it too. We'll let this thing sit here for five, ten minutes, and then I'll come back. All right, we're back. Well, this thing actually uh, healed up, but, you know, you still wouldn't run it. I mean, it ended up being at 0.6 milliamps, still higher than a, you know, uh, six times higher than a new one. And the other thing is uh, power factor. Here's... Here's the manual. I mean, a max power factor on a 475, 500 volt is 15, and we had 28. It said anything that's double that, let's say 30 power factor, should be discarded. So that's another thing you can use to analyze these. And then as far as uh, the formula goes, here's the 20 UF at 500 volt. 1.1, so we're below 1.1. So, I mean, this thing would work, but 
it's still <clears throat> way worse. But we're going to check this one because this thing, I actually, this thing popped on me when I tested it last time. So I'm a little afraid to do it. But there's a formula. If, if your uh, capacitor is not in here, they give you a formula that you can uh, work out. That'll give you the max milliamp leakage. But all right, let's uh, discharge this one. Let's double check the, yeah, it's at, it's at 0.5 now. So not too bad. So we discharge that. <clears throat> let's see how much it builds up after I take these off. Yeah, it's going up pretty fast. Seven volts, eight volts, nine volt battery right there. Touch your tongue to that and you'll know it. 11 volt. Let me discharge it again. And if you're discharging your amp and you touch the, the plate of the power tube, the pin, so I forgot what number that is, You'll hear the, the little spark go through your speakers even after you've discharged the caps. So that's what you're hearing is the buildup and you're just slowly getting rid of the buildup. Now see, it's not going quite as fast. We'll get rid of that one. Let's go my, uh, plus, minus. Minus over here. Plus over here, another 61 year old cap. <clears throat> Voltage down. Uh, this is a, I think it's an eight. I guess we could test the capacitance and power factor. Let's do that. Eight. Man, I'll tell you what, it's about, nine right now but see this power factor is up to almost 30. Yeah they're both about the same 28 29 power factor. All right so here we go with the leakage test. 500 volts. No, 450. This one's only 450. Let's make sure it doesn't blow up on me. You can hear it's humming a lot more on this one. Now see, it's leaking almost completely. So they want you to keep the leakage below 10 just so that you don't overheat the capacitors in this unit. So I don't, I'm at 340 volts. So I can go up a little more now. Just as long as the leakage doesn't go over 10, which in this scale, the 60 milliamp, you divide that upper scale by 10, so 100 by 10 is 10. So I'm at six right now, almost to 450 volts. It's building up to 450. So there it's at 450. Back it off a little bit. It's pretty handy to have your other meter on there because otherwise you just have to keep pushing this button. <clears throat> now, let's see if you want to fine tune it, then you go up here and it's three, 3.6. Let's look at the chart here. 3.6. This is 8 at 
475. So 0.62, that actually dropped. The lower the microfarad, the lower the milliamp leakage. So 0.62 is the max on this one. And we're at uh, three. So this one's really bad. So you go through all like that. Definitely don't want to use the darn things anymore. I'm at 456, lower it. 450. Pretty cool tool though, right? Like I said, I'm not going to let this one sit five minutes, but it's almost down to two, but 2.2. Still, that's a long ways from 0.68. Probably never get there. All right, I'll talk to you guys later.